Hi, it's Kimberly at The Property Man and I am here today to show you this beautiful four bedroom family home on Norman Road in Sale. The Norman Road is located just off Wardle Road, so perfectly located in the centre of Sale. So fantastic for access to transport link, schooling and the abundance of amenities that Sale Town Centre has to offer. So as you can see to the front of the property here, we've got ample off-road parking for several cars. We've got gated access to the rear garden and just you wait until you see that. Uh, I will give you a couple of sneak peeks while we're in the house and then we'll head out into the garden once we've had a the grand tour so let's head on inside so we've got this porch area here so you've got your meter cupboards you've also got a great space for taking your coat off here as well kicking your shoes off before you enter into the main entrance hall so the main entrance hall is a fantastic size we've got a nice window there allowing lots of natural light to flood the space and then this property has got loads of potential to still make your own but is also ready to move into if you wanted to so let's head on into our first reception room so we've got a really nice bright uh, living room here with a big bay window to the front we've got the exposed brick a um, uh, chimney breast there as well which again is lovely and we've got a, a lot of original features as well including you know picture rails and coving in some of the rooms as well so i will give you a couple of different angles of each room and then you can get a really nice idea as to the space that we have on offer so we've got this internal window here as well, again, just to allow that flow of natural light into our second sitting room. Something again, just to point out, we've got the really nice panelled style doors, again, very in keeping with the age of property. And then we head into our sitting room. So again, another fantastic size room. We've got a three piece, a two piece and a single chair in here. And we've still got loads and loads of floor space great height ceilings in here as well and we've also got that feature via surround too and we've got an archway then through to our dining space so we've got a dining room here we have got a little hatch there leading through to our kitchen so again subject to planning permission building regulations etc um, somebody might want to consider potentially taking this wall out and having all of this open plan um, although some people do prefer separate dining to kitchen and uh, so again there's lots as I said lots of potential to make this your own as well so we've got a great dining space here and then actually I'm not going to go that way I'm going to take you back this way <laughs> and then I am going to take you through here into our morning room so we've got a morning room here again you know you could have this as a dining room if you wanted to huge window there to the side um, again so a really nice super duper bright room um, and then we've also got um, a downstairs WC just off the morning room here again all those really nice panelled doors and then through to our kitchen so kitchen is fitted with a range of base and eye level units that's where the hatch is there going through to the dining space again just a little sneak peek of the garden there we've got door to the side okay we've got loads of, of windows in here actually again it's a really really nice bright space and then if i spin you around here We've got a conservatory, which is just, again, absolutely beaming, beaming with, with light in here. We've got double patio doors there leading into the garden. As you can see, we've got a nice big detached garage there. And then this is where I was coming from a minute ago. So back into our dining space, into the conservatory there. So it like, almost creates like a really nice loop <clears throat> there. So again, if you sort of knock that wall through and then open this all up that would be incredible so whilst it's absolutely beautiful as it is now again scope to do further things so let's head on upstairs so we've got another two floors we've got three bedrooms and a bathroom on um, our first floor and then we've got another floor with a, another bedroom so as we head on to the first floor this bedroom here at the back, we've got all fitted wardrobes, really, really fantastic size room.
I'm going to give you another view of the garden. It's just, look at that. I'm actually going to open this door here. Look at that garden. Not sure why I'm whispering. <laughs> Absolutely incredible garden there for families. So that's one bedroom. And then we've got another really good double to the front here. Again, all fitted wardrobes. It's double glazed throughout as well. So this is the smallest of the four rooms, but actually I think you could quite easily get a double that way if you wanted to. Has got a single in at the minute, but look how much floor space you've still got. So I do think that it would be a small double. And then before we head on upstairs to the other bedroom, we've got our four piece bathroom suite. We've got a heated towel rail, we've got our WC, storage there, we've got bath, WC, and our shower wash hand basin, I think I called it a WC a moment ago. And then we've got our boiler in there as well with our storage for towels, etc. As well, again, two windows in here. And also our loft access. And then, last but not least, take you up to the fourth and final bedroom. And up here, we've got, again, that gorgeous exposed brick chimney there. We've got storage into the eaves. Um, as you can see, it's got a double bed and also a double sofa bed in here. So plenty of space, wood flooring. You have limited head height in spaces. And you've also got little excess there for a desk. And again, a bit more of a wardrobe area there as well. So let's head on back downstairs and into that wonderful garden. So as I said earlier, this would be an absolutely fantastic family home. It's perfectly located for really popular schooling. Metrolink's not too far away. Great motorway networks. We've got local parks and green spaces as well. Although, we've got a park in the back garden. And then as we head out here, so we've got a carport here, again, great space for putting your washing out when it's raining, but you still want it to have that air dry feeling. So that's where your gate is there. Access to your garage, which is your detached garage there. We've also got outdoor water tap. And then the majority is laid to lawn. We've got this patio area here. We've got a, um, a range of timber fence and hedge boundaries, and then we've got well-stocked borders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you right the way up to the end. And then we'll spin round, and that will conclude our tour of Norman, Norman Road. It's a beautiful day to see it on today as well. For once we've not got that Manchester rain. Nice high hedge at the back there as well. So it is nice and private. And then if you can see it just in the distance there, that's obviously the house. So what a plot this is. So if you'd like to arrange a viewing, please call myself or the team on 0161 519 8855. That's 0161 519 8 double five or you can email on sales at the property man .co .uk. Thank you very much.